What's up everyone, Daddy Robux here, and today we are continuing our playthrough of The Curse of Strahd. Dawn is the DM through this series, so I'm going to turn it over to her for the recap. Alright Dawn, do your thing. Entering the village of the Lucky. Uh, you find accommodation at the Blue Water Inn. And you learn through Grudol and Pip at the local cemetery, uh, the Church of St. Andrew, has had its bones of the named saint stolen. Heading back to heading back in the morning to the, you know, question the priest about it, Father Lucian. You encounter a man, Izek, uh, Strasny, putting up posters, uh, celebrating the Feast of the Blazing Sun, or the Festival of the Blazing Sun. Not maybe 20 minutes after that, then your rather unfortunate interaction with him. You were battling a, a devil. Draconic in a draconic devil uh, hunting the graveyard. Or is it taking advantage of the distraction? Snuck around behind you, attempting to take Irina, your charge, from behind your backs. Luckily, you defeated both Izek and the Abishai, and now have him unconscious in this graveyard. That's not where we're going to start. Cass! Yes. What can Cass do for you today? You've been, uh... You know, you've been traveling for a bit with your... Companions. Stony and Gretel. And they, they kind of just disappeared on you. Which is, you know, weird. You're obviously, you know, the, the brains of the group. And so you kind of fear where they've been going. And then as you're wandering through the forest, a fog rolls in. Cold fog. And suddenly the forest around you isn't the same. It's different. It's colder, darker. Somehow more malevolent than the forest surface that you're used to. You find yourself outside a village, one that you've never seen before, not on any maps you may have. After being let in, you hear the sounds of combat coming from relatively close to you. That's where you see him. It's Stony, your goblin friend. With a bunch of strangers. And an unconscious stranger. Fascinating. Hey, Stony, Stony, where did you guys go? Um, right here. Yeah, I know, but like, Mist, where the hell is the other one? I, I don't know, actually. Ugh. I swear it was just right, right over there. I just point to an empty patch of grass. Uh, I would say that the gods are working against us, but I don't believe in any gods. Ah, so, uh, who's the corpse? Um. I think his name was Ezek. And uh, who are these uh, soon-to-be corpses you're hanging with? Well, um, I, I've only known them a little bit. I think that one is Pip, and I point to Nora. A and uh, that one is Cicero, and I point to Pip. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I don't remember their name. 
Cicero will lean over to Nora and go, you say soon to be corpses? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, listen, friend, um, I think there's a, a little misunderstanding here on, on equal parts. Um... First of all, uh, Nora. I am Nora. Uh, uh, Cicero, and she points to uh, the satyr, and this is uh, Pip. We found him in the dollhouse. Uh, Wonderful. Yes, we are uh, escorting uh, Arena here, and uh, it's when we run into your friend Stony. Uh, but uh, I assure you, we are uh, not corpses. Oh no, I, I simply mean that in the fact that one day you will die, and when you die, you'll be a corpse. Correct? I I cannot argue with that. I wasn't saying you're going to be corpses soon. I just said you are soon to be corpses. There's a slight difference in the semantics. But then you get this this exaggerated bow at the waist like a dandy. And Cass stands up and you notice there's mushrooms growing on their shoulder and moss all over their hair and they're unmistakably a drow. I am Cass, formerly of the Underdark, formerly of Menzo Baranzin, but the less we talk about that hellhole, the better. And uh, I met Stony there, wandering, and now I'm here and I'd like to know where here is. I mean, I wasn't wandering. I was there for a reason. I wanted I to harvest was the Zerkwing juice. Stony. Stony, I was wandering. I got kicked out of my home and was wandering around. Then I met you. And then we were moving with a purpose until the mist took us. And now we're here and I don't know where here is. Nor do I care if I'm being completely honest. As long as I'm not there, here is a perfect place to be. I guess you'll be very happy then, because we're actually stuck here. Stuck here? Oh, well, they said that about Menzo Baranzin also. But I digress. Um, as I said, I am Cass. Uh, a pleasure to meet all of you. I look forward to cultivating all of your bodies into mulch and moss upon your untimely demises. I'm not going to die, though. I'm going to live forever. Oh, I, I would love to see that happen. Uh, but nothing lives forever, not even the fungus. Pip will approach Nora, just like kind of tug on her clothes and just like point towards um, Cass and say, um, I like her. Is she part of our group now, too? Uh, yes, I, I believe she is. Uh, she's friends uh, with Stony over there. Okay. Friends, acquaintances, traveling buddies, it's all kinds of things. Don't worry about old Cass. Old Cass will get along fine. Well, what uh, would you like to do with our unconscious friend here? Cultivate him into moss if he's dead. Uh, I believe he's not quite dead yet. Then I have nothing to do with him yet. I, I wandered in on this. You were the guys who, uh, I came to you. So don't let poor old Cass uh, completely change the plan. Cass is going to work with you. So, and uh, uh, Cass is wildly gesticulating when they talk. <clears throat> I'm a little well, fuzzy on the details, too. I think it was Nora who specified non-lethal. Oh. I don't well, actually remember uh, who got the final blow. I think it was Nora. Stony certainly has no uh, no preconceived notions about Ah, no, it was Gretel. <laughs> well, uh, I, I feel like our first step should be asking our friend here why he uh, went after our companion. Because he kind of came out of nowhere and tried to grab her during the thick of it. Should, uh, should we tie him up first? Um, that, yeah, that... <clears throat> Pip, still the hand was still there when it was here, so Pip's gonna use the hand in a mixture of mold earth to dig a hole in the ground and place him in it so that only his head is out. And then he's gonna walk over to the guy and just like give him a little kick in the head to wake him up. 
he sort of snorts and sort of glares and looks up at you. What? He has died now. <laughs> you just killed him? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I buried him so like only his head is out. Like, uh, uh, uh almost, um, the, the thing, like, the, the head on a plate to talk, so basically that. Same, same thing. So, yeah, then Pip's gonna say, um, it looks like it's like, why you wanted to hurt our friend? Why did you hurt us? I hurt you. Because you wouldn't listen. I said, get out of my way. Mm. Okay. Turn to the group. I don't know what else to ask and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, if, if I could interject, I am of the opinion here. And, you know, <laughs> you are all welcome to disagree with me. But, uh... Wasn't this guy, like, was, wasn't he with the, what, uh, Burgo what's its Yes. Yes, he was, if I recall. Okay. All right. So I wasn't hallucinating yet. Uh, but if he's, like, involved with the government and we just kicked the shit out of him, Maybe instead of talking with them, we uh, we we cheese it. We should get it. We should get out of here. All right. Well, we should certainly do that after we interrogate this guy and ask him why he was going after our friend. And he, his sister is going to stare straight at him when he says that. <clears throat> So how about it? Why did you go after our friend? He sort of looks around and you can see his eyes are very clearly focused on Irina. Cicero is uh, going to just step in front of her and cross his arms. I don't have to tell you it. Wait. In fact, from where I am, this information is the one keeping me alive. Why should I tell you? Uh, well, there's a there's a very simple explanation. By your logic, that information is keeping you alive. But if you refuse to give it to us, then we can't gain the information, and you are of no use to us, and we should kill you anyway. Excellent body for cultivating some spores, I must say. Make a persuasion roll there, Stony. That's a persuasion, Uki. Aha! That's perception. Ah, see, that was a test. I was just making sure that uh, everyone was paying attention, because I wasn't. <laughs> it's not any Somehow better. Somehow that's better. Uh... <laughs> Are you sure it's not intimidation? I'm great at those. I'll be nice, I'm sure. Oh, well, it's <laughs> it's the same role. <laughs> it's no different. <laughs> I like this one. He's funny. <laughs> oh, so, sis, go ahead. Sorry. Seeing seeing that that didn't work. I'm going to lift my hand up and the armor is going to, uh, you know, the little porthole in the palm is going to and open up and a flame is going to come out, but it's going to be like, like a butane lighter, like, and I'm going to, I'm going to torch him. I'll do it. <laughs> well, hold off on the torching. Let's, uh, Pip, is there any way you can get this man's fingers up onto the surface? Because I feel like that torch could do a little, uh, could come in handy in getting oh. the information out of this man. Oh, God. 
And, and Cicero will kind of kneel down in front of him. Is all you have to do is talk. Just tell us what you wanted, and we'll let you go. But if you don't want to give us that information, well, we'll be forced to get that information. Oh, are you guys talking about torture? No, no. <clears throat> now, well, there's many ways. I may be a man of many things. Uh, I have no problem with killing this man right now. Like seriously. I will put this flame to him and make him kaput. But uh, that's a little excessive. It makes makes Stony squeamish. Well, well just, just just so we're totally clear, I am a drow. I mean, I learned a few things. Hmm. Well, you see, all you have to do is talk. If you don't, well, things are gonna get interesting. So how about it? Bip is going to slinkly approach Isaac, kneel down so he's like basically same height to his head. Um, mister, I know you're like running to town, but can you please just tell us so we can leave? If you do so, I promise to take you out. We just want to know, but then we leave, okay? Please, pretty please. And then he makes his best possible please face. Let me guess his please face. There we go. Please face. Pretty please face. <laughs> Give me... Give me persuasion, Rokip. Okay, um, I'm good at these. I'm good at these. <laughs> um, should I get advantage from anyone? So, uh, I'll give you advantage from everything going on behind... Ooh, ooh. Okay. Cass is going to walk up to Pip and just kind of give Pip a pat on the back and give you some guidance. Attaboy! Attaboy! Tell him what he wants to hear. 23. Let's see if I get higher. I don't think I will, but let me just see. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, 23. Dig me up and then I'll tell you. Promise. Mm -mm. Okay. Don't like that. Bip, bip, Don't like that at all. The spell. Is he? Uh, can I insight and see if he's, you know, be, being of honest course. or if there's some insidious ulterior mode? All right. So, so, so you know, I'm really great at I'm really great at all the roles, honestly. Oh, oh Stony, this man is the most honest person you've ever met. All right, I believe him. Let's get him out of there. I'm uh, I'm just gonna stand next to him and I'm just gonna reel back with my club and just get ready to bonk him if he tries anything. So Pip, you dig him up? Um, yeah, Pip is going to start casting the spell as he moves the range of the spell away and undigs him. Find <laughs> Riddle, actually. I don't need him here. As uh, Isaac sort of sits up, he makes a deliberate show of uh, using his devil hand to sort of brush off the dirt around him. Yeah. You guys are uh, interesting. No, you're interesting. <laughs> Fine. I tried to take your friend, and he's he hasn't his eyes haven't left her in. So I feel like I know her from somewhere. Wanted to see how. So your best plan for that was to kidnap her. Seriously? What is wrong with you? He sounds like a typical henchman. That henchman person looks familiar. How about I uh, just walk up and kidnap them? Are you even listening to that? yourself? No, when did, it, when did I say I was planning to kidnap her? Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Arena. 
did this guy walk up and ask you if he could forcibly grab you and carry you off? I believe when I showed up, I was told uh, to leave or you'd kill me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Something ain't right. The arena for her part is just sort of staying as far back from Izik as possible. Uh, eyes very much avoiding him. So where did you think you recognized her from? Hard to say. Right. <laughs> well, uh, unless anybody else has any questions, the deal's a deal, I guess. And I'm free to go. I guess that's uh, up to Irina if she feels. Uh... Whoa! Wait, guys! If we let him go, he's gonna go back to town and tell him about everything we did. And I'm gonna pull out my gun. <laughs> he can't leave. But, but we're 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 leaving, aren't we? Are we? I we pulp fiction now. <laughs> um, if Common, I, uh, do you speak it? <laughs> <laughs> um, Pip is going to look at him and in his mind he hears um mister if we leave your town are you gonna come after us I'll say this under the protection of the morning lord just so there's no funny ideas the moment I get back I'm gathering every guard every person with a sword I know. I'm gonna scour the town until I find one of you. Ah, yes, that's... of course. Well, uh, with that, that in awesome. consideration, I'm going to point my arm at him and the hand is just gonna kind of drop down and reveal like a nozzle. And uh, we're gonna start spraying him with foam. <laughs> 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 okay. You realize <laughs> Hang on. How big's that? How big's that? It's 20 uh, foot square? up yeah, 20 foot cube, positioned oh so carefully to not affect any of the party members. <laughs> uh, that's the kind of cube I'm seeing here. Oh, I forgot you're actually looking at the map. Uh I didn't put that there. I would put it right there. Like uh right there. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and make that save, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's. Is he starting his turn if he doesn't have a turn? I mean. <laughs> Well, real questions. Has, it doesn't has one for, for context. Has it doesn't help. I'm, we're just, I'm just gonna shoot the yeah. phone, just, and then we're gonna run. Yeah. It. All right, let's yeah. go. <laughs> mm. okay. I would. Uh, okay. Um, Pip is going to look at him, and I'm gonna say, um, "Okay, have a good day, Mister." <laughs> and. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk over to him and I'm gonna bonk him in the head. <laughs> just, just, a, just a quick bonking, bonking. I kind of want to ask you to make that uh, attack roll there, <laughs> but I won't. Why? Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> the guy's wanting to be done, please. <laughs> uh, lethally or non-lethally? Uh, not non-lethally. <laughs> just bonking. If, listen, if I want to do non-lethally, why do I get close? <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, lethally. I can just cast a spell and kill him. <laughs> Much easier. All right, so, so you non-lethally bonk him for one damage. Yes. He's out cold. And I begin moving away. Yes, time to, time to leave right now. Oh, so we're running. Good. Got it. Yes. Let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, Stony has very short legs. So, uh, whereas the rest of the people are running, in order to keep up with the group, you'll see he runs in little, like, hopping spurts where he goes 10 feet and then he, like, jumps into the air and, like, little boosters out of his legs. <laughs> And then he lands and runs a little bit more. <laughs> he can't quite fly yet. <laughs> uh, how how heavy is he? Uh, that is a good question. Uh, myself, I, I weigh only forty pounds. I am small. I am goblin. Uh, oh, okay. Then uh, Cicero will run over and scoop him up under uh, one uh, arm uh, as he's uh, running. Uh, all of my equipment weighs significantly more. <laughs> Oh no! I it's like another I fifty cast... pounds, actually. Yeah, for, uh, oh, s- f- scale mail is forty-five, uh, and then mo- most of my equipment is in the bag of holding. So, so I I want to ask a question. Um, would Pip be able to simply piggyback ride Nora, like just because <laughs> Pip is this small, tiny creature with almost no equipment? What is Pip's race, actually? I don't think I know. I'm a halfling. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm a young halfling with no equipment. <laughs> I am really small and really lightweight. Nora, how's that strength looking? Can um, you carry a Pip? I think so. I'm currently carrying 77 pounds out of 240. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can, you can totally carry yeah. a Pip. And and I'm going to cast on Stony um, a Expeditious Retreat. Oh, very nice. Wait, you're so little too. <laughs> Run. Yeah, that's why I'm getting carried. Bye. <laughs> uh, yes, but I, I'm casting on you because I know you have short legs and you're too heavy to be carried or because of your equipment. Okay, so let me let me put this to you then. This is Velaki. Yeah, we're getting the hell out of Velaki. You are here. Uh, Alright, ping it again now that I'm on the right map. Yeah. You're at, you're, not, you're at number one, right? Yeah. The inn is at number two. Okay. Are you guys just straight out of the lucky? I mean, he said he was going to go towards the nearest person, right? He was, He said he's going to find the guards, find anyone with a blade and come after you lot. Right, right. So, I don't... So, above the table, me, I don't think it's wise to stay here. Because if he's gonna... If he's, he's gonna summon the feared and uh, <laughs> come and murder us. <laughs> I share the same sentiment. Let us, I, let us I, get out I of town. I would think we would just go down the road to the gate and then just, just get out of town. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah. need to get out of Dodge. Stony, how many laws did you break when you got here? S- just several, okay? I, it's, <laughs> I, I may have active warrants. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I don't think we stopped to check what the laws were. Hey, sir, dude. Thank yeah. you for the follow and welcome. Oh, well. When okay. in wherever we are, act like however they are. I'm too young to become a criminal. You're never too young to be a criminal, my boy. Never too young. Just uh, stick with me. You'll learn. <laughs> and that's it's like that's like Cassus is pointing at Stony and giving a thumbs up. <laughs> so, uh... Anyone else voting to uh, get out of here? Pip is on Nora's back. He ain't voting. <laughs> yeah, to the gate. Wait. <laughs> what about our cleric? <laughs> <laughs> God, cleric. You know what? It's a good to answer him problem. We gotta go. 
<laughs> no, you know, I, I think the only solution here is the obvious. Let's split the party. <laughs> I, I'm down with that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh. Hey, assassin. Sorry you missed last session. By the way, you need to roll a new character. What? Why? Well, the party <laughs> fled town after uh, Isaac threatened to uh, call the guards, and uh, they left you behind. So now you're in jail. Sorry. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> you guys have seen the stocks in the center of town. That's uh, that's definitely one fate for Gretel. Well, you know. He's he's with the, like, technically he's with us, right? Or can we drag him along? Sure. All right, there we go. We're not leaving him behind. You, you know, you prep you prep for one thing, right? We all go home, or nobody goes home. You prep for one thing in this game, and you guys do the complete opposite. Sorry. Like, at <laughs> Absolutely no turnaround on that at all. <laughs> Just do, we... do the logical thing. Uh, let us have a rest and then throw out wandering monsters at us until you're bored. <laughs> That's what I do when players go off the off the off the rails. <laughs> oh, okay. You want to ruin my plans? <laughs> There's Fish Boy as a testament to you guys getting Fish Boy killed. Still thinking about that fish sandwich. I, I warned you. I warned you. My favorite pastimes are uh, <laughs> you, uh, making other people break character and causing the DM to throw away all of their preparation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's very well done. So, uh, do we make it out of town? Um, yeah, it won't, it won't take more than insert hours here for <laughs> him to wake up. Uh, and by the time that happens, you guys are definitely out of town. Um, quick question: This town was this the town of our main objective? No, no that's, that's no, right? we're okay. supposed to take her to Kresk. Yeah, then then we're fine. <laughs> objective still intact. Let's keep going. <laughs> well, we, we did come here to get supplies, but now that's out the window. <laughs> yeah, no we looking back. Get supplies. You guys were also here for. You guys also had that side job of the winery off near Kresik. I mean, we could still go investigate the winery. Wine. Wine sounds amazing. What's wine? It Maybe. gets you very, very silly, very, very fast. There's an idea. Maybe we go investigate this uh, Wizard of Wines, and then when we come back to report, then uh, maybe Isaac would have forgotten. Or we could just avoid him. Big city. Should I have bunked him harder so he forgot? I still have the opinion that we shouldn't have uh, let him go, but you know. We could go back and kill him if you want. Um, that seems like more trouble than it's worth at the moment. Okay, I'm just I'm just spitballing ideas. Okay, so you start running out of town. The road comes to an X intersection, a few miles down the road. With branches to the northwest, northeast, southwest, and southeast. That's more here, I guess. The lower half of a snapped wooden signpost thrusts upward at an angle near the eastern elbow of the intersection. The top half of the sign, featuring arms pointing in four directions, lies in the weeds nearby. Uh, okay. So we have to decide if we want to go 
north, west, or south? Is that the what I'm gathering here? Yes. Cass, you seem to have a pretty good sense of direction. I do? Since when? I mean... I lost you guys. But you but you did lead us out of that kerfuffle in the Underdark. Well, that's because it's the Underdark and I'm a drow. I mean, it's kind of um, dark what? here. I think it's yeah, like I I... midday, but I don't really I know, see that I much like light. this. I'm not gonna lie. I very much like this. I like how it's 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 always cloudy here. It's it's it makes me want to do crimes. But uh, why do you want me just to pick a direction and go in it? I mean, eh. I mean, you may have lost your friends, but you did find them again. Cass is gonna start sucking on the tip of her pinky, and then she's just gonna hold it up in the air. What direction is the wind blowing? <laughs> oh, give me the choice. <laughs> Yes, what direction is the wind blowing? Oh, no. We're blowing back to town. Let's go back to town, boys. <laughs> <laughs> now that JC suggests that, yes, that is exactly what the wind is blowing. Um, so Cass is like, um, the wind's saying to go back that way, so we should go back there and kill that guy. Uh, hmm, maybe we break camp first. I don't think we should do this so close to the town. Let's, uh... I think we're like... Um, how about we just go and 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 Cass literally is just looking in random directions. We're like eight how about miles we go away from town. this way? This or way like looks nice. Miles. Follow the river. <laughs> what color should be a darker purple? Um, or a more electric purple? Yeah. Ooh. Go this way. South? South. South. Yeah, let's go south. When in doubt, go south. You'll eventually hit some dwarves or something. I have no idea. But where is the place we need to go? I literally just got here. What makes you think I know where <laughs> did, did, did we did, did we get a map? Uh, did we ever get a map of the the area? I believe that was one of your things you needed to pick up in the town. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think you were there long enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, whose fault is that? Assassin. Yeah, should have just killed the guy. I mean, we can always go back. <laughs> go back now. Six people against the town. We could never go wrong. <laughs> I mean, we're we're uh, battle-hearted adventurers. They're just they're just mooks and NPCs. Like we'll be fine. I like those odds. Just drop a spike rope. See how many of them get through it. Uh, well, Cicero will take a coin out of his pouch and flip it. Uh, let's see. Let's go, uh, this way. Now, wait a minute. First it was south, now it's north. Maybe we should go that way. And I point to the west. <laughs> Oh, dear Lord. I mean, all we have to do is remember, we always must keep going forward, not backward, upward, not forward, and always twirling, twirling, twirling until we puke. So, Don, <laughs> let me ask Hi. you, did the speed remember the direction we we're meant to go? <laughs> like, if you were told it's the most eastward village, westward village, uh, okay. there is. Pip, Pip is going to start walking this way. <laughs> Pip just starts walking ahead. Wait, I, I saw that... the arrow go up. Are we going up or are we going yeah. just directly? Was that northwest or straight west? Uh, I'm going. I, I mean, I can't go like this through the forest, but. Well, I mean, we could, we, we could if um... we try hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> if we try hard enough, yeah. Um, I think maybe. Yeah, Pip's gonna. I don't know what. Fuck it. What is that dotted down? line as Pip, opposed to. Let's go like this. Oh, <clears throat> never mind. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Done. Meta so, decision. Let's go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> five minutes. Five minutes for a decision that can that normally takes one. I am liking it. <laughs> yes. Uh, northwest. Let's go. So wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> this is the, this is the way JC said Pip's going. This is the way. Yep. That, that's this what I said. 
As you start going that way, yep. Uh, you see a figure. Three figures. Whatever oh. happened to that rest? <laughs> I don't think we're seeing the light of day for that rest. <laughs> No, no one asked are. for. No one asked if rest is a thing. I did. <laughs> Me. Oh. <laughs> then I didn't hear you. Double, double toil and trouble. Uh, would you like to see the figures? Well, well of course. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Whoa. Okay. I, I enjoyed the last one. The back. Why? 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 Can, can you tell me why we have medium soul catash in the map, Don? <laughs> I am slightly <laughs> curious why there's a medium soul catash here. <laughs> I, was, I was told this change would bring much fun to my Curse of Stride game. No. Terrified. I agree. 100%. Excellent. So, that's our initiative, eh? <laughs> I may have oh, whoa, 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 I'm on your front. I wouldn't be in front. Hold up. Nor in front. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. An accident. The, fig the figure in the back cools out in a... In a very sort of odd accent. It's not the typical one you've heard since arriving in this realm. It's not one from your plane of existence either. It sounds... It sounds like if you told an eldritch horror how to speak English. Ooh. Kind of like that. <clears throat> It says, uh, well, this is a fun little group, I see. No cleric, though, that may be an issue. Rip. Oh, boy. Hold it's, on, uh... I'm loading. I'm almost there. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, I uh, went to, to hit a button and my mouse was in the wrong profile. So instead of doing what I thought it was going to, it refre it went back a page. Yeah. <laughs> it's the worst. Absolute worst. How, how dare that mouse button do exactly what it's meant for? No, but it's not what it's meant to do when I'm not... Shut up. <laughs> 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 well, I like I guess just initiative. There's no, there's no discussion with adventurers these days. Like, no, I thought, I thought you asked for initiative. You said roll initiative. Excuse yeah, you me. Said roll initiative. <laughs> then I said I'm kidding immediately afterwards. I didn't hear you say I'm kidding. We heard you say roll I, initiative. Exactly, me too here. So I waited until two other people did it. Yeah. Anywho. Well, okay. As you know, you all get ready for a fight. Uh, figure looks at you. Perhaps this isn't the engagement I wish to commit to. Enjoy the friends I brought you, and I hope to see you again soon. And with that, they disappear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, just okay. wave so... around my laser gun. Where'd they go? What? So, we just got threatened to death by Sokotesh. Fun. <laughs> by the way, it. JC, that's not Sokotesh's uh, it's stat a block. Spawner. I know, I know. I imagine it's not Sokotesh's stat block. <laughs> the, the name's not visible, DWP, so even though you know what it is, and the stream knows what it is, well, JC I doesn't. Recognize the picture. <sighs> oh god, we, we don't even have third level slots yet, I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm so screwed. <laughs> well, Cass, you are gonna be starting us off today. So, are we walking through the forest, or is this like... a Forest. Oh, okay. So Cass is going to think, 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 and drop a sunbeam on them. A moonbeam. I was gonna say <laughs> a drow. There we go, five foot radius. Oh, well, that's fun. I'm a druid. Yeah, I was kind of thinking, yeah, they don't have a cleric. Vampire sport might be fun. 
Uh, it's not, not a whole lot of damage, but it'll do. It's still radiant no matter what. Is it the start of their turn, isn't it? Is it the start of their turn, uh, but it's still radiant damage, so let's have some fun. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Terrible damage roll, but that's kind of been the point. All of my druids have been rolling terrible on their moonbeam this week. But yeah, that's it. Cass is going to do that, then Cass is going to say, Okay, guys, uh, I've started this fight. You guys can finish it now. Stoning. Oh, uh, that means anything else, Cass? Uh, no, that's it. Stony. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I just, I'm just gonna pull out my gun and and start blasting. <laughs> <laughs> so start anyway, I start blasting. Uh, we'll start with this one here. It's always right. cloudy in Barovia. <laughs> it's always cloudy in Barovia. <laughs> uh, left or right? The right. Thank you for pinging which one the right is, because I had to. It took me a minute. <laughs> Dawn woke oh. up for half an hour before the game and was not ready. I don't know what that's like at all. All right, so I fire twice. Uh, uh, I don't have any of my class features. Ah, I do. I do have the, have a. Nope. No, I don't. Okay. Well. I'm uh, just Wait, is this a magical laser pistol? It, it has my infusion on it, the repeating shot, so it is magical. All right. Like I can like it? No, I can't. <laughs> uh, aha! Nope, that wasn't that. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. All right, now I'm finished. Okay. Uh, anything else, Tony? Nope, that's it. Nora. All right, Nora's gonna get bonus action angry because our nice stroll through the woods was interrupted. How many bonus action angries do you have left? Uh, two because I think we, we right we went to the we only used the one for now. Only we haven't rested one. since oh, yeah. the fight with Isaac. Yeah, but that was but only one. Before, so yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, rage is the one thing I'm probably not going to burn through. Before we yeah. Rest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then I'll run up to. Uh, this one over here because I can run 40 feet now and uh, try to hit him twice with uh, Great Roman Master. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is all non magic. Correct. So that's 23 down to 11. <laughs> Which, you know, it's all off. And uh, that'll be my turn. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's coming, though. You know what's coming. If you want to waste the spell slot on it, sure. No, no I got three more. I can cast more, some more. Um, <laughs> you, you cast that expeditious retreat. So that's one less. I have two slots, though. I'm fine. I'm fine. I can handle myself. I'm good. Let me get that. Are you gonna um, grease the vampires? <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we got a 10 foot cube and let's put it right there to get both of them I just use blue <laughs> oh wait yeah that's a good question that's a good option let me let me pick another color that is not blue <laughs> please um, let's pick a oh, brown there we go like grease yeah Done. There we go. Uh, I do it now, right? Uh, yes, please. And at the end of the insurance. Uh, so yeah, one fails. No, I have magical resistance. They have magic resistance? I say they have magical resistance. I <laughs> 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 can't argue with that logic. That mm -hmm. seems, uh, mm -hmm. seems legit. <laughs> 
Uh, no, one of them will just face plant down. Uh, the other's very annoyed. I am very happy with that result. We'll say the one in front of Nora goes down. And I am going to move next to Cass. Hey, how you doing? Hello. I like you, you're fun. Okay. And then he turns back to the vampires. Okay. Vampires born. So now he has the con save. Now we make the con save. <laughs> Four, he fails, takes the seven radiant. Seven radiant. That's not going to be fun next turn. So that's an next turn problem. You know, there's only one choice who's not the scary barbarian with the scary animal. I don't know. Oh no. Not I... the bard. Yeah, the bard. Oh no, the bard. <laughs> yeah. The bard. You're a monster. Yeah. Well, Cicero, hi everybody. <laughs> 25 to hit. Yeah, that, that, that hits. Alright, you are grappled. So no damage. Me. Huh? No damage, you just grappled. Oh, okay. Now the damage! <gasps> oh. Ouch. Oh no. Alright. So... Okay. Uh, have you updated your token? It's still at 17 for me. Yeah, I'm editing it right now. Sorry ah. about that. Ah, there it is. Uh, right then. Cicero, you are grappled. <laughs> and bitten. Okay. Uh, I'll try and break that grapple, because that's... Okay, your yeah. choice of check, uh, DC 13. Okay, uh, I'll do acrobatics. Oh... oh. That's not, that's not great. <laughs> that's... <laughs> Alright. Uh, can I bonus action? Yeah. Okay, uh, then I will healing ward myself. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Did you mark I, your, I... your hit point reduction? Oh, uh, I do need to add it. Yeah, your max that. is lowered by six. There we go. All right. And then I hit receive nine. All right. That's my turn. Alrighty. The other vampire's born. Lex, what's that wording on Moonlight? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, the word of turn. What yeah, goes the start first? Of turn. Moonlight or regeneration? Because they're both start of turn. Ooh. Yeah, but there isn't there regen since the their last turn. That is a yeah. Real... So it's regen already... goes off before. Yeah, but they've already taken radiant damage this round. Yeah. Because it's when it appears then at the end of their turn, or when you enter it. I think so. Like no, it's it's when you enter it and at the start, not when it appears and at the end. So it would oh. get off the regeneration uh, before the before it takes the the damage. Yeah. And then, so you see this vampire spawn, you know, just you see the wounds stitch up in the moonlight, uh, taking half damage. It takes half damage on a pass. That's three. Then it's gonna stand up. <laughs> and do Nora. Twenty one. Oh uh, yeah, that hits. That's gonna be a grapple. Twenty five. Oof. Oh yeah. Alright, four piercing and ten necrotic. Uh uh both half because you're a bear, I think. No, you're a zealot. Uh no, uh ancestral guardian, so it's only 
Why am I thinking you're a zealot? Maybe I should have been. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I, was still, I think you're 12. Uh, yes. And your hit point max goes down by 10. Yikes. If you were bad, that would have been fine. Still, max damage roll. It's nasty. What max damage roll? On the ten, on the. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's two d six. I just thought it was a d ten for some reason. Cass. Okay, so Cass is gonna do something useful. Um, she's gonna look over at Nora and scream out a uh, healing word at Nora. So, her healing word is precisely. Why are you? Why do you look so sick? And then throws a throws a, a nice healing word at for eight. That's uh, max healing at Nora. And then with an action, is going to move the moon. Move the moonbeam right on top of that one. Oof. I mean, I already cast it. I might as well use it. So, drop the moonbeam on top of them. Okay. And that's going to be Cass's turn. Tony. Um. Yes. I'm trying to debate. Uh. Nope. 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 I think what we're gonna do is Tony, Stony, is gonna move here, and then uh, we're gonna throw both of our hands forward and try to uh, release a concussive blast of, of, of sound. Try and knock the vampire spawn away. Yeah, look, five on a 2d8. That it's oh no it's it's the weird one yeah yeah so it'd be like yeah. hey okay so with magic resistance that's gonna ah oh, shit <laughs> and that's five feet push ten feet ten feet all right. So, its eyes lock onto you, Stony, as you push it away from its meal. Uh, I move 10 feet. 20. There we go. We're going to run all the way over here. Let's just get that out of here. <laughs> I saw the hand as well. I was like, hang on. Well, that's not, uh, that's not supposed yet. to be there. All right. Uh, yeah. That's it for okay. me, then. Nora. All right, I will uh, attempt to uh, break this grapple. I'll do it. Uh, and then I will try to smack him. It's your action to break the grapple. Oh, okay. Right, oh, yeah. Uh, then in that case, uh, I think that'll be my turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I am doing the thinking. One second. Don't have a lot of slots. And. Okay. Yeah. What a shame. Uh oh yeah that's true. What's the only thing? Um I am going to ask our little vampire over here. Actually no, <laughs> this vampire over here to do me a in save. As I guess this liver of the mind on her. Ah oh. And I am going to move around. <laughs> Get out of the corner! <laughs> and that's my turn. Uh, 
Alright, the vampire has taken radiant damage last turn. So it will not be uh, regenerating. But it sees Stony. And it's going to run after Stony. No, no, no. Hi, Stony. Hi. That doesn't hit, does it? No, AC 17. That'll do it. Yeah. And do we want to grapple? Oh, no. Nah, just take the slashing. All right. Uh, actually, manipulate my token because I was on the top of the map. <laughs> Cicero. All right. Uh, he's going to haul butt over here. I helped you! <laughs> it's, the, it's the entire corner. It's one corner of everybody. He, he will look at that, that vampire spawn right there, and he will say, uh, if being a moron was a crime, you'd have already been sentenced to death. So, I think it's already dead. <laughs> I know that! <laughs> but they don't know that. <laughs> Amazing. Right. Unless it has uh, magic resistance, it'll take three psychic. Yeah, magic resistance. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I won't. I won't be able to um, healing ward again, right now. Right. Uh, the, the action can trip. Yeah, you. Can okay. Uh, Unless I've got my five E completely wrong. Then I will healing ward Nora. So, it's going to be... I'm healing. Question. Do I still have Expeditious Retreat? <laughs> no, because he's concentrating on Grease. Carcio! Oh no, I'm not. Grease not concentration. It, am I still Expeditious Retreat? It lasts for no. 10 minutes, I believe. I'll double check. Oh, no, we've then already no. traveled a mile. There's no way. Yeah, then, 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 no, yeah. <laughs> Womp. Oh, uh, that's my turn. Sorry. <clears throat> Alrighty. It's Nora's Zumpai spawn who does not get the healing up. No. Stuck in a moonbeam. And he makes the con save versus 13 damage. Oof. Nice. That's a respectable moonbeam. It really is. I love that spell. You know, I'm, I'm not seeing this vampire spawn lasting long against Nora. But Nora's grappled, so I'm going to do this. Whap doesn't hit. Whap. Maybe hit. Uh, that is a yes. No. Nice. I need a sand. I need a sad trombone. Castle move the moonbeam, and with a bonus action. Hmm. I don't know. You know, uh, she'll throw a healing, a uh, castle throw a healing word at uh, Cicero. So Cicero will get back a measly five hit points, but still five hit points. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and Cass is actually going to do something crazy. Just walk over there, and she's kind of, kind of like tilting her head to the side, staring at the vampire in the moonbeam. And that will be Cass's turn. All right, Stony. All right. Uh, well, first things first. Stony's gonna use uh, a bonus action to nimble escape. <laughs> like, you see, he just starts running, almost tripping to in a scramble to get away from the vampire spawn, as he activates his little uh, his little boot jets whoosh, and lands over here, spins around, and fires with his laser pistol. Pew pew. pew pew indeed it hits. Take that. 
Ouch, this is magical, isn't it? It is magical, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a, that's a load of damage there. I just wish it was an actual laser pistol, so it did radiant damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yeah. Not a fake laser pistol <laughs> that still does piercing. Uh, anything that... else? Nope, that's action bonus action. I'm spent. All right, Nora. All right, just gonna try to exact her revenge. So close. There we go. Hey, that'll do it. That's 28, half to 14. 28? Uh, 18. 18. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll take 28, you know. Just, uh... <laughs> My brain is not with it. <laughs> oh, oh. Whoa. I never, I've, I've never, I've never told this story before, but reminds me when I accidentally bumped my homebrew party two levels because I forgot to divide the XP between them. <laughs> like, <rip. laughs> everything. I think everybody's done that at least once. Pip. So, Don, it's funny because one of them is separate from everyone else. Um, can, you, can you do my deck save? Why are you like this? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're just talking about. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's very sad. So what, like, uh, yeah. Let me double check something. Is it? Let me double check if it's difficult to rain because I don't remember if it is. I don't think it is, but no, sadly it isn't. Okay. But yeah, um, that that's it. <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, the vampire spawn who passed the save. Oh no! How dare you! No, blame JC. JC, what do you do? Vicious Mark is not going to help against that. Did that uh, hit? That would be a hit. Alright, that's gonna be the grapple. Oh no! What are these dice rolls? Oh my god! That's literally max damage. Alright. I'm not afraid. Minus 21. And minus 12 max HP reduction. Okie dokie. Am I gonna kill TWB twice? Yo, you might. <laughs> oh one? no, not Stony Tark. I love him. Oh boy. Ew. Um, you said. I can't remember. Did you say we don't get our, our, our uh, new spells until we take a long rest, but do we get the slots? Yes. Wonderful. Okay, uh, then I will cast Healing Ward at third level. Uh, if I can find it on my sheet here. On uh, Stony Tark. Uh, yeah, heals me to full. I am at 26. Alright. And then I will uh, Vicious Mockery again. Were you hit by an acid arrow or have you always looked like that? These insults are always on point. I'm loving these. Yep, they make the save. Unfortunate. That's my, my turn. The other vampires. He's still in the moonbeam. Oh. And he'll take eight more radiant. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> this fight against Snore is not really going as well as I expected it to. Don't you dare! <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna disengage. Okay, that's an action. That's cool. Okay. 
Uh, wait, I've just put my vampire spawn next to each other. That's that's not gonna work. No, what's the problem, Dom? Keep them right next to each other. What's the problem with that? <laughs> oh, hey, that works. Oh, hey, this one should be regening wounds. That one would be regening wounds. This one will not. Yeah. Uh, that is time. Did that Use one his action to disengage from next work. to me? Well, he can go. And for my bonus action, I am going to do this. So now I'm surrounded by a cloud of necrotic spores. And the vampire is in it. So I'm going to have a little bit of fun on his next turn. Wait, did you say as a bonus action? Oh no, that's an action to do the spores, isn't it? Yeah. Because uh, I haven't played one. Of okay, so I'm going to... I'm just going to chill out over there then. I have, I'm just going to chill out and stare at the vampire. I want to pip the druid too. I'm just gonna stare at the vampire like, hi. Okay. Stony. I am currently grappled. Uh, yes. So, what do I want to do about that? We're gonna do the same thing. Wait, what are my spells? I still have so many spells. Uh, we're going to do the same thing as before, using a a uh, thunder wave to try and rest ourselves free. Jeez. Okay, that's a uh, concept for me. Mm -hmm. Magic resistance, uh huh. <laughs> I'm gonna run uh, over here. Nora, save me! <laughs> and then, uh, oh, uh, I get. No, okay, never mind. I'm done. Okay. Nora. Uh, well, no worries, friend, because I'm off to take care of the other one. So you stay here. <laughs> I'll be over here. <laughs> <laughs> Open you, space. Open you, space. You have, thir you have 35 uh, movement then, Nora? Uh, 40 now, apparently. As long as I don't wear heavy armor. Yep. Barbarians, man. I forgot about that one. Barbarians. Because my uh, ranking of barbarian is 35. Like, eh. <laughs> Dwarves. Uh, yeah, and then I will continue uh, to pummel uh, this fellow here. Nope. Alright, that's my turn. Okay. Pip. Don't do it. Okay. I can't anymore. I'm on spells, lots of the work. Yes. Uh, I win. I am. I... For now, Don. For now. Um, I will, however, look at the one in here. Um, and cast a another and then you have to do another in save as I cast another thing on his mind and he fails and he's gonna take uh 8 psychic and egg as a next d4 to his save to resist the um, thing the next save he does so the moonbeam why must you hurt me in this way <laughs> Well, Pips, just out of range. Ugh. So sad. And you know who's not out of range? I do. Everyone's favorite goblin. I think they are out of range, aren't they? They're 35 feet away. 
Pasha wants to see like fake TW. <laughs> we will go. Go here and take the dodge action. Dodge action is gonna help you for against saves, my dude. <laughs> It's gonna help me against Snore, and that's all. Boy, <laughs> that's a lot of help. Uh, that's my turn, Cicero. Alright, uh, Cicero is gonna just, you know. <laughs> just gonna calmly and quickly stroll over here. <laughs> uh, uh huh. Uh -huh. He'll, uh, let's see. I don't really have anything left. So, he'll just do another vicious mockery. So, he'll do it on this one. It'll be, uh, looking at you is the best excuse to drink I've ever seen. That'll fail. That's gonna fail. So, that's gonna be, oh, come on. Five psychic. Five seconds. And that's my turn. Okay. The other vampire is He's in the moon beam. You know, we're, we're not expecting him to last long. Ah, he succeeds, so he only takes seven. No, he fails because of the minus one. Oh, God, yeah, he gets the minus one. Thing. Ooh, yeah, he fails. He takes the full 15. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right, I think I know where I'm using that nat 20. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Where is he? Come here, JC. <laughs> Come here. I'm innocent. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna... I can't, I don't really want to proc the off attack from Vivi, from Cass at this point. <laughs> Let's just let's just call out Nora and yeah. grapple, and assuming twenty hits, bite. Uh, but uh, eighteen does not hit. As long as I'll just confirm, I, I was given that cloak of protection, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you were. Yeah. Then yeah, AC nineteen. All right, cast. Fascinating. Um, I get to uh, I get to actually use a disengage. Go to here, uh, and as a bonus action, I will throw another healing word at Nora, so Nora can get back another eight. Huzzah! And uh, Cass is done. Keep the barbarian happy. Stony, are uh, you back? Yep. <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. All right. Um, <clears throat> we're just going to. Is the one up here grappled or grappling? Uh, grappling. Nora. Grappling. All right, we're gonna shoot him with the laser. I think. I can't remember the range. Shoot him with the laser. That's not it. Uh, 30? Are they within 30? Nope, we're going to move up first. And then we're going to shoot him with the laser. Pow, pow! Uh, the first pow. And the second pow. Okay. Yeah. 15 damage. Not right. enough to kill. Well, uh. You wanna add Fury to the small? I, I don't have it. It's. We haven't rested since last fight. Ah, <laughs> yes. Alright, I will move back here and I will be done. Okay, here's the death of my vampire. 
Yeah, well, now that I, I get a little more health uh, from my friends, uh, I feel comfortable recklessing, so I'll try to, try to finish him off. Oh. Ouch. Okay. Ooh, All right. The dice are not happy tonight. All right, that's my turn. Ain't the dice like me? Pip. They see you there. I was muted. Ah. <laughs> Okay, um, I'd like the vampire near Nora to give me an end save, please. Or take 10 psychic. This is Nora's vampire, yeah? Yes. Fails. This is dead. Yay! <laughs> and they move next to Nora. <laughs> I look at the other vampire and I point and I say, Can you kill it, please? And that's my turn. Fine if I can't have JC, I'll have Cicero. No. <laughs> I'll have Cicero. Amazing. No! I mean, you can totally have JC, it's not that you can't move up to Pip. Yeah. It's more that I don't want to. <laughs> Nora there. Just Nora there. That's the only reason. Uh, uh Claws on Nora. Oh, yeah. Does the vicious mockery help against that? I don't know if you'll, if it justifies as a weapon. I I don't understand those rules. What do you mean? What? The the natural weapon, melee weapon, weapon, weapon stuff. I thought vicious mockery just said the next attack. Yeah, it's next attack. Oh, is it just next attack? Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. But it but it still hits because you're reckless, right? Yes. Ah. Darn. It's a 22 for the grapple. And I'm gonna spend that natural 20. Fair. Look at it. Full natural 20. <laughs> Max damage from Necrotic, insta-kill Nora. That's 2d6 plus 3. For the piercing. And 4d6 falling across it. Oof. And your max health is reduced by 17. Jeez. Okay. Cicero. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to just. Oh, and it gets health back. All right. Let me see something like this here. Okay. So keep I'm going to use my last spell slot to healing ward Nora. That is some cruddy healing, but okay. Uh, and then I'll oh, vicious mockery the uh, vampire spawn again. <laughs> Did you brush your teeth with a hammer? Then <laughs> uh, that saves. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, the other vampire spawns dead. Cass. So you know what Cass is going to do. Cass is going to move that little thing over there. And Cass himself is going to do 5, 10, 15, all the way to the other end. Uh, over to Stony and be like, so is this normal here? And that's, and that's their turn. All right. Stony. Uh, kind of absentmindedly pointing the laser in the direction of the vampire. Well, yeah, pretty much. I mean, <laughs> and 
Just fires twice in that direction. <laughs> uh, 22 hit tonight. That's Nora. Mm -hmm. Not, not my vampire. That's Nora. Yeah, I want to hit the. I want to hit the vampire, please. <laughs> Uh, speaking of Nora. All right, I'm gonna do uh, what I should have done last time. So I'm gonna attempt to uh, push him away five feet first. I roll athletics or acrobatics against this, or is it just athletics? I think shove I is. is both. No, grapple is, is either. I thought shove is strength only. Uh, shove still of uh, both, I think. Yeah. It's the same I role. Think no, it's not the same. It's different. No, no, strength and dex. That's what Dom means. Like, it's going to be the same role. They both have plus three. No. For a digital All right. specific. Uh, yeah, so I'll push them uh, five feet back and then run around the moonbeam uh, to try and smack them once. Uh, but this time... Uh, ah, poop. Right. Okay, uh, not my day. All right, uh, that's my turn. All right, Pip. Um, can you do me a rather quick uh, in save? Same verse, like a second verse, same as the first. A uh, fail, stick six psychic, and uh, no one is far enough so that I can go behind them. I'm gonna move right next to Tony. Actually, I'm gonna move here. Who's Tony? Sorry, Stony. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Just keep focus firing with this dang sunbeam, <laughs> with the moonbeam. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's con save for me. But I get my healing first. Womp womp. Damage is damage. Well, that is not what I meant to do. I guess I'm juking it out with Ignora. Grapple and no. Wait, no advantage for grapple. No, only restrained. Oh, uh, grapple is just move speed is zero. Uh, in that case, Cicero. All right. Uh, shoot. Move over here. Uh. Well, vicious mockery again. You know, I never. I used to think that the gods never made mistakes, and then I met you. He succeeds. Oh shoot! Oh well, that's my turn. Is that lady Yes. Guess. Just the same as I have been doing. Uh, no one looks like they really need healing right now, so I'm just going to keep moving that sunbeam and chilling out over here in the back. It's working so much far for me. Let's Stony shoot him a few times. All right. So wait, what are you doing, sir? I just move the moonbeam. That's it. All right. It takes a full action to move the moonbeam. Keep moving the moonbeam. It's like a little laser from the heavens. Stoning. Uh, yes, we'll move up so that we're still in that 30 feet. And then, uh, pew, pew. Uh, wait a minute. That was the wrong button. 
I meant. Pew pew. Uh, second key. Yeah. I had all my big rolls in the first couple of attacks. That was sad. Uh, I will end my turn. Nora. Uh, I'm also gonna rinse and repeat. I will shove him uh, down five feet back and. Twenty-four. Come, pass it. All right. Yeah. So I'll push them and then move and uh, attack. I think uh, I just want to hit. So it's good attack. That'll hit for four points of damage. All right. And then the turn. Um. Oh no! You moved the, the vampire out of the sunbeam, or did it move by itself? Uh, it should have only gone five feet, I think. No, from I thought it was a ten foot push. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, Pip. Unless well, Nora's got anything else. Nope. Pip. In, you know the drill. Inside. Wow. Well, give you a rest. A. And he gets an extra at last D4 and it's con save. For a minus one again. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Five damage is still five damage and it shuts down the regeneration. That's all I care about. Indeed. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly about ready to call this fight. Honestly, <laughs> you're not. She's not gonna kill anyone. Yeah, I'm gonna call the fight. Yeah, fair enough. By virtue of moonbeam. <laughs> Wait, what round are we on? Seven. It only, it only lasted Seven. three more rounds. You I could can have cast outlasted the. Oh, well, there is that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a druid with full slots. I'm, I'm not going to fight that. But yeah, the moonbeam breaks. I'm getting rid of the grease. <laughs> and no quiet grease returns. Lightness. Well, that was fascinating. Um, it was such re so refreshing to deal something. with vampires instead of demons. Um, who was the person that disappeared? <sighs> I don't know, but he certainly has a bone to pick with us. Apparently. Can't I sleep? I'm kind of tired. Cesp with no hurts at all. <laughs> Not even a single damage point. <laughs> yes, I think it'd be good to find a nice safe place to hunger down. Okay. Why not um, here? I mean, we did just get attacked here, didn't we? <laughs> well, yeah, but the things that attacked us are dead. Pip looks at Stony, nods, and begins using Mold Earth to dig himself a hole in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Little tent for him on the ground. Well, anyone want to help me go find firewood? Fi I don't feel firewood. Uh, Stony <laughs> just takes his hand and he. Once again, opens that port on the palm and sh 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 and then <laughs> he's just gonna point at the ground and poof, and now there's a little fire. <laughs> mm, well, that works. <laughs> it's 
So, uh, you guys gonna settle down for the night then? Yeah. We will yes. certainly try. Try being the keyword, indeed. Uh. Come on. It's the uh, holiday. It's give the it, holiday. Give it to us. It's the 24th for me. I'll give it to you. Oh, that worked? Uh, <laughs> you're also going to give all of your players magic items, right? Gifts for the holiday. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Uh-oh. Amazing. Wait a minute. No, this can't be good. It's a trap. It's a trick. I mean, she's going to give us the items. We just have to kill the enemies that was were are wearing them before. Speaking of, <laughs> for these particular enemies, uh, we're gonna go and kick at the corpses. You know, give them a scientific examination. Make sure there's nothing in their pockets. <laughs> uh. Nothing like a laser pistol that fires radiant beams. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's one of those. Damn it! All right, I'll just keep uh... it the fake, the fake lasers. <laughs> Yeah. No, you don't see anything. Don't forget to reset your max HP. We took it long. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and take it long. Woot! Ah, <sighs> third level's lots. <laughs> so happy with that. Um. Hey, hey, Nora. Yes, Tony. Do um. Do you have like a lot of room in your bag? Uh. I mean, I have enough, probably. But what is it you need me to carry? Um. All of it. Oh my, how much is uh, all of it? Well, I mean, it's my backpack and a crossbow. This crowbar and hammer, they're important. Um, I've got a rack of pittens, all my rations, um, 50 foot of rope, uh, tinder box, torches, water skin, uh, bedroll. I mean, like, like all, all of my stuff, like. Uh I, I am not a mule. I may I may be strong like one, but uh, that, is, right. that does sound like quite a lot. I could try to I could try to take some of it for sure. But, uh, no, it, it's kind of a, an all or nothing deal here. I mean, I, either you carry all my stuff or none of my stuff. Uh, how how much does it all weigh in Toto? Um. That's, uh, 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 he's kind of counting on his fingers. Um, let, let me get back to you. Uh, it's all right. I actually don't really know how much numbers convert into actual weight anyway. So the only way I'll know is if we try. Let's just put it all in there and see what happens. Uh, one. It looks like it's about 50 pounds of gear. Oh, that's so pro I can still carry Pip, so we're good. <laughs> All right. Well, um, if you can carry my stuff for me forever, for dirt, as long as you can possibly hold out, um, I can repurpose the magical components in the trunk, and uh, I could potentially, you know... I, I can improve your weapon. Oh. Yeah. Yes, that sounds wonderful. All right, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave all my stuff on my sheet so that I know they're there. But I took the weight off to show that they're being carried, you know, first in the bag, but now by Nora. If you just want to add fifty pounds of Stony's shit <laughs> to your sheet. <laughs> and then uh, during the long rest I would be ending the infusion or the bag of holding 
and then uh, we would be using infusion for enhanced weapon on store on uh, Nora's axe maul. Maul. Yeah. Sound good. Sounds amazing. Sounds good. And uh, in my, you know, artificer infusion, I would just like take your maul. And uh, I'd put like little studs all over it, and then uh, when you grip the handle, like the studs just kind of light up. And so it's like <laughs> there's some kind of electrical thing, <laughs> but mechanically, uh, it is it is a plus one weapon. That's it. <laughs> That's <just plus> one. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you, Stony. My ancestors would be pleased. Okay. Uh, as you dream, nothing happens. Not that even. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> you all dream of snow. Or you dream of uh, cold. But not the. Not the bad kind of cold. It's almost comforting. Maybe the Morning Lord knows of the quest and is guiding you towards it. But anyway. Continuing on then. You guys are still heading this west, uh, yeah, westerly direction. Since that's what Pip chose. And you come to this fork in the road. Oh no, not another decision. And following following the road, looking around, you see it leads to uh, this large, uh, impressive looking, I want to get my words right here. There's mayor, is uh, mansion. Moss covered mansion. Oh, that looks interesting. Hopefully, we can come back here and explore it once we get back, get to the town, yes? Right? Yes, I think we should deliver our charge first. But sis, what if we can't come back here after we deliver? I just have disturbing memories of the last time we took a detour off our path to a strange abandoned building. I guess, but the other building wasn't abandoned. That that's true. And technically, we don't know if this one's abandoned. That's true. Okay. Pip is, is, is now... Uh, he just simply um, climbs up and going to Nora's back, like a backpack as well. Just hiding there. For now. Waiting. So... We are moving away from the impressive looking house, yeah? Uh, I, I assume yes. so. We're going to town with the intention of coming back and exploring later. Got it. Okay. So we continue on. And we come to another fork in the road. Oh, but damn it. <laughs> um, uh, Can... Heading south. Uh, you see, it leads up into the mountains, the mountain regions. Although you're not really sure, you don't really see any landmark. To the north, you see a lake. And interestingly, a tower situated on that lake. Can we see the bridge where we're at right now? 
You can indeed. Well, which way do we want to go, guys? Wait. Oh. I, uh, Stony wasn't there for the tarot reading. <clears throat> um. I mean, our objective is this town, I imagine, correct? Done? Yeah, that's good. That's a buff table. But... Mm. We are close. Should we just keep going to the town? Well, they say the most western part of the of the area, so I mean, some way has to be the right way, right? What happens if we keep going further west than west? That's what I want to know. Like out the map? <laughs> um. Okay, I suppose we should go to town then. Deliver the our mission, I think. Hmm. So west. Sounds like. Yep. And yep. does that change when I say? There's another crossroads here. How dare you? <laughs> I mean, are we able to see that this one goes down to the south from here? Yeah. Well, as you get into this river, uh, you see a weather-worn signpost next to the road. Three arms of the point, three arms of the sign points along the three branches of the road. The arm leading north reads Kresik. And you can see through, you see the woods, through the woods, even. And you can see an arching stone bridge spanning a river. The arm pointing east reads Velaki. And the road slopes up gradually in that direction. The arm pointing southwest reads the Wizard of Wines. And the road slopes gently downward in that direction. Ah, see? Well, everything works out in our favor after all. Everything's over here. So I say we go to the village first, and then check out this wizard afterwards. Yes, we can uh, get rid of the extra baggage, and then we'll be free to try and figure out how to get out of here. Nerina sort of laughs as you say that, thinking we're joking. At the very least, maybe we can get some good one. Hopefully, I've been bone dry this entire time. Well, let's head north then. Okay, north. You cross the river. And find yourself outside the town. The road branches north and climbs a rocky escarpment, ending at a gatehouse built into a 20 foot high wall of stone, reinforced with buttresses every 50 feet or so. The wall encloses a settlement inside of a snow dusted mountain spur. Beyond the wall, you see the tops of snow covered pines. Thin wisp. The somber toll of a bell comes from a white stone abbey that clings to the mountainside high above the settlement. The steady chime is inviting, a welcome change from the deathly silence and oppressive fog to which you have grown accustomed. It's hard to tell at this distance. There seems to be a switchback road clinging to the cliffs that lead up from the walled settlement to the abbey. Uh, let me find you the map. So I didn't get time to prep because I didn't know you were going to do <laughs> everything you did. You <laughs> completely ignored the entire map and run away from the town. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. 
<laughs> That's the one, yeah. Well, this seems like a very nice change of pace. Well, uh, shall we? Let's. I'm going to turn to Nemec Whitey. Oh, no. Shit, no. But oh, just. Yes. Ooh. So, yeah, as you get to this gatehouse, which is, you know, here on the actual map. The air grows colder. You see these two square towers with peaked roofs that flank a stone archway, into which is set a pair of 12 foot tall, iron bound wooden doors. Carved into the arch above the doors is a name Brezek. Hello! The walls, that, the walls that extend from the gatehouse are 20 feet high. Top of the parapet, you see four figures wearing fur hats and clutching spears. They watch you nervously. Sisfer will kind of look up and kind of just give a slight wave. It's just, hello up there! Uh, one of the four guards uh, points their longbow at you. Ooh. Whoa. Who are you? Uh, we're, we're travelers. We, uh, we came from, all the way down from, uh, what was it, Wallachia. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're trying to, we were trying to help our friend here get, get over to, uh, Kresik, and we were wondering if you would let us in, please. Hold there, we'll get the Burgermaster. And you see one of them scutter off. Burgermeister? Is that like the Meister of Burgers? Eventually. Uh, the gates open. And surrounded by guards, you see this man. Hmm. Greetings. Greetings. I am the Burgermaster, Dmitri Kresikov. What can Kresik do for adventure today? Well, it is a, uh, a pleasure to meet you. Uh, my name is Cicero, the uh, traveling bard, and these are my companions, Pip, um, Nora, and Cass, and uh, Stony. And we hi. have been traveling. Huh? I said hi. <laughs> we have been traveling for quite a while. Uh, we came from all the way down from Valachia. Uh, we are trying to get our friend here. To, uh, we were trying to transport our friend safely from Valachia to here. And uh, we were wondering if we could get access to the town. Baron sort of steeples his feet as he watches the wall. Adventurers in Barovia. For some, this is good news. For some, bad news. And then, of course, depending on the adventurers, these may be reversed. For some, bad news. For the others, good. I do not know. Serve Strad or pose Strad. And I think either way, your presence here spells trouble. Kresik. Well, I can assure you that we mean no harm towards anyone. We simply were just looking for a place to they pack up some supplies, drop our friend off, and then we will be simply on our way. To 
to house Strahd's allies would mean taking the side. It would show that I favor the nobility. That I disregard the safety of the less fortunate present. Well, I can assure you, we... Housing Strahd's enemies would invite his wrath upon Grizzle. And Who's Strahd? I was about to ask the same question. I have a lot of enemies, but one of them isn't named Strahd. That may change soon enough. Either way, as Burgomaster, I cannot allow you into this town. Sister will kind of let out a soft sigh. And, well, can our friend at least be welcomed into your fine town? The moment you arrived in Crescent, Irina's been quiet. Quiet and usual. She's kind of spacing it out. Uh, I Irina, is everything all right? Um, sorry, it's. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's fine. He'll turn back to the Burgermeister. Uh, so, what is what? What have you on this? Can our fr at least can our friend enter your town? Friend to you. Well, she is uh, a native to these lands. We, however, are not. So, if that makes any difference... Not a big one, I'm afraid. But... Uh, um, how how do we Berg convince you? Of... Funny you should say that. As Burgomaster of Cressic, I could not deny hospitality nor aid to those who are... to those who have helped Cressic. Oh, oh, I see what this is. It's a shakedown. Hey, how much gold is it going to take, huh, buddy? Gold is not our concern. Oh, a favor then, huh? To the south is the Wizards of Wines Winery. Our delivery has been overdue for some time. I see. And you would have us go down there and gain, grab this delivery for you? I would indeed. We've been without wine for days, and it is testing. Life without wine. Horrible. Well, I mean, we would be very happy to do this for you, but, uh, as my friends have said, we've been on the road for quite some time. Maybe you allow us to resupply before we go? You look perfectly rested to me. I'm not well rested! For forgive our ill-tempered friend here. He's been through a lot. Bip is going to look at the man and point at Irina and say, can you at least let her in? She is not a rogue This is evident. She can stay at the... She can stay here at the gate. We have beds here. She will be safe and comfortable. Okay, thank you. I advise you to watch out for wool. Dire, regular, and the lycanthrope of our variety. Oh, great. Ooh, whoa. Well, I can certainly assure you that 
Wolves have been the least of our worries these past couple of days. We, sh we shall get your delivery. Be back soon. I look forward to seeing you back here with our wife. Oh, let's be on our way, yes? Absolutely no point in wasting your time. People here are quite friendly. Or at least they appear to be. Yes, I have noticed that. I fully expected the entire town to start shooting at me. Maybe the first time a town's chased me out. When we get there, can I taste wine? You said it makes you silly. That sounds fun. Uh, Pip, how uh, how old are you again, my friend? He, he pulls out his fingers and starts counting. Oh dear. Um, more than ten? Uh... He kinda <laughs> looks up at the others. We, we shall see. Okay. I don't know what everyone's getting all weird about. In uh, goblin culture, ten is an adult. We only live to be maybe fifteen. <laughs> Although that's usually not because of old age, it's because we get, you know. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> eh. In drow culture, 10 years is about the amount of time it takes to determine whether or not someone's going to live or die. Mm. I'm still not oh. sure what this uh, whack is. is. Is this some sort of beast that uh, all goblins must face at a certain age? I what? You said you said uh, goblins they, they some some sort of hua, hua. is is this a beast that you must fight? I, I'm I'm just not. He makes the noise this. again, but this time draws his index finger across his neck and sticks out his tongue. You know, they pass on, move to greener pastures, uh, get crushed by an ogre, or murdered by ah. adventurers. Okay, Very, okay, I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> Very hazardous yeah. uh, profession being a goblin is. <laughs> okay. So, I'm willing to hand wave the travel. Go on. No traveling encounter is good. Yeah. Uh, but I want to take a quick five minute break. Because Dawn needs a cup of tea. Quick bio break. Sounds good. Fantastic. Sounds good to me. All right. Awesome. Why are you like this? This is true. 
I'm trying to think ahead to the spells I want to take for Stony. And I want to take stuff that would help him in, uh, that would help him uh, as a martial character, right? Because a lot of his playstyle is revolves around his guns. But as an artificer, there's not a whole lot of options. Any magic weapon? Although, no, that does, I already have uh, the Artificer of here, so that doesn't do anything. I should prepare a magic weapon. Because not everyone in the party does, though. Bard, wizard, druid. Nobody else has a weapon. A defender. I won't have a defender. I'm a uh, armorer. And I am level 5. Flame arrows? Could be decent, but I mean... Flame arrow specifically says arrows or bolts. I have a pistol. So Dawn would have to give her approval on that. I mean, haste. Haste would make sense because then that allows me to move around faster and, and fire more shots in a round. Really, yeah. I think that'll be although well, if I stay ranged it's not too bad I just worry about uh, you know the the end effect of haste Honestly, I'm surprised all of us have survived this far. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, not all of you have. There's already been blood for the blood gods. Sad wa. What, what the, the locusts are died or the grown? Look at that. The hags of the old bone grinder are making fish pastries now. Glug, glug, glug.
That's why there's an echo because I had the stream on. <laughs> Rip. I was like, "Where's that? Where's my voice coming from?" <laughs> Is it something me? <laughs> Ron knows your voice. All right, so is anybody not back? <laughs> Think JC oh. is back. I'm kind of surprised you wanted to break and well, I guess it's only been 2 hours. We got another hour to go. <coughs> Why did you ping me twice? Ooh. Wait, who just pinged me? <laughs> I was looking in the channel where I got pinged. I only saw it like a second before I, I tapped away. Why ping me at all? I don't care if you're not here. <laughs> I suppose because it's your stream. Well, are we going to call it? No. Okay, then why do I care if he's not here? <laughs> all right, I'm back. Are we starting yet? <clears throat> I guess so. Oh, I've just remembered what this area is. Oh no. Uh -oh. Trouble when the DM goes, oh no. It's an oh no from me because I don't want to have to manage 30 blanks here. Like, that's just not a good time for me. Alright. So I said we'd waive the movement. Yeah? If you want. So, yeah. Bam! You guys are here now. Oh no, where is here? Okay. After a half mile, the road becomes a muddy trail that meanders through the woods. Descending gradually until the trees part, revealing a mist shrouded meadow. The trail splits. One branch heads west into the valley, and the other leads south into dark woods. A wooden signpost at the intersection points west and reads Vineyard. A light drizzle begins to fall. Unpainted fences blindly follow the trail. Which skirts the north of a sprawling vineyard, or then leads south and towards a stately building. The fog takes on ghostly forms as it swirls between the neatly tended rows of grapevines. Here and there, you see rope-handled half barrels used for hauling grapes. North of the trail is a large stand of trees. A man wearing a dark cloak and cowl stands at the edge of the tree, beckoning him. Oh, let's head on over. Yeah, that doesn't look intimidating at all. So we head towards the cloaked figure? Yep. Yeah, let's do it. As you approach, nine other figures uh, wearing similar get-ups sort of emerge from the trees. Immediately pull out my gun, start waving it around. Get back! Uh, this is the guy who greets you and sort of chuckles at your uh, antics. There'll be none of that now. Why aren't you wearing pants? 
Cassis yes. kind of looks over, looks down at the fact that they are also not wearing pants, then looks back. Maybe it's a druid. Not all of us wear pants. Most of us don't, in fact. But the You're front of his... It. <laughs> it's clearly open. Hey, I said, are you a druid? Yeah. You don't seem evil. Why would I be evil? I mean, I mean, drow notwithstanding, why would I be evil? Well, this is my winery. My name's Davian Martikon. Cass. Cass. Cass, yeah. I had a name and a clan name and a family name, then I got kicked out of Menzo Baranzin and I lost it all, so I'm just Cass now. That isn't even my full name, I just can't say it because I'd probably get killed. Cass. Yes. Well, this is my family. Uh, that's Adrian, that's Elvir, uh, Stvana, uh, that's Dag. Hi, guys. Well, my winery's under attack. The druids. Evil druids controlling the blights, the elemental creatures. Sounds horrifying. That means more mulch for me. And why would they be doing this? What, what reason do they have to attack you? Well, that's a family secret. Why do you want to know my family secrets now? No, I'm just looking for the root cause of the conflict. Find my family secret. It's just perhaps if we understood better, we could, you know, help you end the conflict. That's all I'm saying. Oh, well, I have an end to the conflict. You lot. Go in there and clean them out. But, uh, what's in it for us? Well, wine, I should think. Is, is that it? Uh, you want gold? We have gold. I turn the rest of the party. Is, is that good? We... Wine and gold? Maybe? Wine and coin seems uh, pretty solid. Well, I mean. I mean, it feels like we need to get the wine anyways, because... The da, 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 da. Ah, you need the wine, eh? No, no, this one doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, <laughs> There's always a reason people travel to the winery. And, yeah, our, our deliveries have been a little late. i tell you what, you clean up my winery, and I'll make those deliveries for you. But, what about the coin? And the wine! He just looks at you. Kind of scowl at Cicero. So, Was that you? So just the wine then, I guess. I'm... Just the wine, wherever you want it to go. And, you... and that extra wine for us that we took. I'll see how well, like, how good a job you do at cleaning out my winery. So, what are these things that have been attacking you? What do they look like? Have you ever seen a blight before? Uh, I can't say I have, no. <laughs> well, you're in for a treat. Well, he looks at the party. Where where do we start? At home in the winery. To the winery. Let's go. Okay. He sort of waves you off 
uh, his family you know, slink back into the trees. Good luck. Don't steal anything. I'll know if you have. What? Well, I wasn't planning on it, but that sounds quite, quite like a challenge now. So, as you head in, you see that situated in the midst of the vineyard, the winery is an old two-story stone building, multiple entrances, and thick ivy covering every wall, iron fencing along its roofline. The trail ends at an open loading dock on the ground floor. A wooden stable of a more recent construction is attached to the east side of the winery, next to a loading dock. West of the winery is a crumbling well a wooden outhouse. I'm gonna just stop and stare at the outhouse with my gun trained on it. Something in there? I'll go find out. Try to sneak up to it. So as as Nora starts creeping towards the outhouse, I'm just gonna pow. <laughs> I think it's empty. <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> Uh, let me get you guys on the map so you can see where we are. God, I've got so many things open. Uh, there's a veranda or there's a loading top. Which would you prefer? Yes. Well, uh, what's closest? They're both equally close to you. Oh, you gotta be like that. I vote for the, the loading dock. Let's do it. It doesn't make a difference, it just chooses where I'm starting you. Okay. Let's roll a d2. Two beside. Nope, you've chosen. Too late. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want me to set fire to the outhouse while we're here? I could leave a good beacon for later. Of course. Love it. As you guys step onto the loading dock, you see a wagon with three barrels set in braces on the bed. A wooden, a raised wooden walkway runs along the west, south, and east walls, and through a hole in the ceiling. You can see the wooden arm of a loading crane, with ropes and hooks dangling from it. The door to the south seems to have been forced open and hangs ajar. GM mode, it's easy. But then the stream can't see that. Cass, as you're looking outside, you notice movement. Whirl around with the gun. What's that? Yeah, I'm not Cass. 
They didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, you were around with the gun, and you see thirty of these guys. Ah, twig blades. Not good. This is uh, just like that one time. You remember the thing, right? What thing? Not you! Oh. oh Cass! I'm so we've ventured together before! You remember that thing? Uh, uh, um, um, Goldenfields! Uh, sorry, slipped my mind. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, what? you see 30 of these lights heading your way. Can I, uh,. As has been the uh, story of my character's life. We this is through the window, right? No, this is the loading dock. You know that very open loading dock. Yeah. So so they're just outside. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna start just firing off into the crowd. Bow, bow, bow! Get inside! <laughs> Uh, you gonna try and sh shut that door? Not until Pip moves his ass. Right. I'll wait for <laughs> I'll wait for Pip to come in and then I'll slam the door. And is there does, is there like a way close. I? Can, oh, it doesn't close. Ooh, it looks a bit. Broken. Um, uh, I like to cast mending on it. Oh, it you're thing. you. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> You, you know you're just making the target on your back bigger, right? I know. Uh, Would I'm, mending I'm work? For it. Is it, like, clearly broken in two? Well, oh, not now it's not. Okay, then I'll slam the door shut. Fair enough. <laughs> is there, a is there like, a, a bar on this door? No. There's some heavy no. barrels in the room that everyone else has walked into. Like uh, in the basement. Yeah, uh, Cicero will go, <laughs> Nor, help me move one of these barrels. Absolutely. Um, it kept making it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I did see him. Then, yes, the stack barrels. Good. So, for the rest of you, the rich smell of fermenting wine fills this large two-story chamber, uh, which is dominated by four enormous wooden casks, each one eight feet wide and twelve feet tall. A wooden staircase in the center of the room climbs to a ten-foot high wooden balcony, clings to the south wall. Four windows set into it at balcony level. Stacked against the wall, underneath the balcony, are old empty barrels with the Wizard of the Wines burned into their side. The balcony climbs another five feet as it continues along the wall, uh, along the west and east walls, ending at doors leading to the winery's upper level. Underneath these side balconies are several doors, some of which hang open. Beneath the sloping roof, stretch thick rafters, upon which scores of ravens have quietly gathered. Shut up, you filthy buzzards! Pow, pow, pit more shots into the sky! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> they watch you with great interest. <laughs> they don't move when I start <laughs> shooting lasers at them. Walking around here, it's gonna look all right, perfectly normal, you know. Oh, infinite ammo guns are bad ideas. Bad idea. What is this? 
I have no reason not to shoot everything in under <laughs> anything that moves. I have no reason not to shoot everything. <laughs> What is in this room over here? Please don't be more focused, thanks. Um, pair hooks line the walls what? of this storage room. Shelves okay. to the south hold several pairs of state wooden sandals with oversized soles. Both doors to this room hang open. One to the west is fitted with, fitted with iron brackets and leads outside into the rain. Lying on the floor next to it is a five foot long wooden beam. Okay. Um, why are we casually exploring when there's a horde of things about to overtake us? They can't get in. Hey man, that's Pip Explorer. Y'all are, y'all are all doing your thing as well. You are desperate. Pip's chilly. <laughs> Pip's chilly. We're, we're in close quarters. If anything happens, I cast Grease. Perfect. Okay. Um, Pip's gonna close this door though, because he knows what's outside. Okay, should I try to kill the things outside? Well, for now, they can't get in here, so we need to think of a plan of attack on how to deal with these things. I just hold up the pistol. How many times can you fire that thing before we're overtaken by 30 of them? Hopefully uh, 30 times, and then they won't be an issue. Pip is going to uh, come over here. He sits down and he opens his backpack. And like he simply pulls out a, a skull of a larger looking halfling. Um, and he... Like kind of like throw some powder on top of it, and the skull starts animating alongside a body as he creates this creature over here. <laughs> Cicero's That's eyes, someone undead. Cicero's eyes kind of widens. Did you know he could do that? Hmm. Pip then looks at the skeleton and simply like does like arms up like to to get to go on in his arms and the the skeleton simply smiles and kneels down and takes Pip like a child on his arms. I can do something like that. I just need more bones. Um, I have this. I'm gonna hold the pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Have this pulls out the gun. <laughs> I just look sadly down at my club. <laughs> okay. Should we try to go down then? They are they're twigs, right? Maybe they have some roots or something here. Wow. Well, um. Hey, where do these stairs go? You, you want to follow the stairs? Uh, no. I'm going to stand at the bottom of the stairs and look up them. <clears throat> where, where do they go? Can I see? Uh, they go up to the next floor. Okay, alright. Here, here's a thought, right? And, uh, and using the, the gun to gesture. What if we all hide up there uh, on the next floor so that when they burst in, uh, they would have to funnel up the stairs and we put, uh, we, we put Nora and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, the, the, that thing. And I point my gun at the skeleton. Uh, we'll put them in the front and then we can, uh, hopefully run them all down before they reach us. Why, <laughs> why are you gonna put daddy in the front? Okay, I I see your point. We'll put Pip in the front, and mm, Pip hugs tighter to the skeleton. What? His sister was like, "Why'd you put that thing down before you put somebody's eye out?" I do like this idea, though. It's 
It's a good idea. <laughs> Certainly, let's uh, begin. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to run up just uh, to the... Oh, man, the stairs are only five feet wide. What? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so then I would run up... Yeah. Hey. Stupid birds. All right. Uh, I think they just got a squawk at you as you say that. <laughs> Which, that's fine with me. They're... <laughs> And then I'm going to just kind of uh, hang over the, the banister here with my gun, ready to shoot. <laughs> well, uh, is this where you're going up as well? Huh? Is this where you're going up as well? Yes. <laughs> there you are, you're on the same level as Tony. All right. Scissors just kind of make a shoe motion with his hands to the birds. They just walk. Go! Shoot! Go on! Not moving. <laughs> ah! Blasted birds. He'll try and just make his way through this, like over here. Anyone else going up, or you all staying down there? Yeah, oh yeah, Nora's going up. She'll be at the top of the stairs, just waiting for Pip. Cass is just going to follow Pip. Pip, uh, Cornelius is going to start carrying Pip up, up to the top. Right, stay there, stay there. Oh, oh, oh okay, Burn. I'm staying. Burn. Are we all up on the second floor? Yes. I've noticed in D players like sheep. They just follow where one goes. <laughs> They're like sheep. Uh, <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. well, you see, when you're a squishy spellcaster, you tend to want to go where everyone else is going. No, no. Huh? <laughs> the the plant there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, Pip is going to try and um, get open his backpack, get some bread, and actually before he does that, is this window opened? Uh, you can open it. Yeah, I'm gonna open it. Yeah, you see, you see some of the twig lights are uh, back there. Okay, I'm gonna get the bread. I'm gonna show it to the thing, to the to the crows, to the crows, Christ. and I'm like crumble. <laughs> English berry. <laughs> I'm gonna crumble a little bit, and I'm gonna throw it to them to see if they follow. And I have the bigger piece on my hand still. Uh, they're not gonna follow. I can 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 I try to animal handling them at all? No. Okay. Um, Pip looks and says, Are we supposed to, <clears throat> to attack them? What are we meant to do here? Should we just go up somewhere else? <laughs> we seem to this place. We're, we're supposed to kill them all. Hmm. You look outside the window, you're not really making a move on the, the winery. Hey, uh, can we send your friend down to open the door and let them in? No. And he hugs the south and wants more. No. I, I don't mind doing it. I can run pretty fast. Hmm. Well, I mean... We could do that. Wouldn't it be wiser to also make sure there's nothing else in this building with us before we try inviting the horde in? 
I mean... Did those things come from the ground? I just hold up the pistol. I... Just what? Couldn't you just shoot them out the window? I mean, I did fire off some shots, but they were I think they were too far away. Okay. Um question DM. When we saw the Quidditch Week up first appear, did they come out of the ground? They came from the trees. From the trees. Uh, can I see one of the trees from here? Yes. Um, from where I am, am I able to discern if there's like something wrong with the tree right now? Nah. Uh, I'll give you investigation at disadvantage. Perception at disadvantage. Perception, not investigation. Shekels. You need okay. to be right there to get the investigation. That's fair. Let me roll it. something from like a mile away. Hang on. Bonk. So 12 and 9. Um, do not see anything wrong. Okay. So, if we're just gonna attack the little birds, should we do it now? Well, I don't think the birds are harming anyone. He's gonna, I'll, he'll he'll kind of shoulder past them a bit and kind of wander off this way. He's, hey, there's doors over here. Hmm. Well, you can open them then, I think. I'll let somebody more uh, physically inclined <laughs> do that. Oh, I thought we were preparing for a great battle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the great battle against the birds. <laughs> All right, I, I'll, I guess I can uh, try to open this. But... So you're going to op open this door here? You know, open this door here? Uh, I will certainly try, yeah. As Nora opens the door, I'm gonna end the session here. Ah! Uh, what? <laughs> ah. <laughs> what an ingenious plan! All right. Well, thank you all for coming and hanging out. Appreciate you being here. Hopefully, you enjoyed the session. If you did, make sure you hit that follow button, and uh, hopefully, I see you next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs>